Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Ferguson and I'm the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. You can find me at twobrothersblankets.com, on Facebook and Instagram at Two Brothers Blankets, and right here on YouTube every week for a new crochet related video. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, you can click the bell at the top of your screen. Okay, so today is part three of the How to Crochet a Sweater series. I'm going to show you how to crochet a sweater from the top down with a circular yoke. I'm going to be demonstrating how to crochet my new Franny flounce sleeve tee. That is a tongue twister. <laughs> um, this is not a full pattern tutorial. This is instead a demonstration of how crocheting a sweater from the top down with a circular yoke looks. I do go into detail a little bit on the flounce sleeve of this particular pattern in the video, but it's still not a full pattern tutorial. I'll link to the pattern in the description. What you'll need is some DK number three weight yarn, an F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook or hook to obtain gauge and then your typical measuring tape, scissors, um, if you wanna use stitch markers, and then a yarn needle for weaving in ends. I'll make sure to put all the supplies and the links to the pattern in the description for you. So now let's get started. Okay, so here is my circular yoke that I have created. Um, a few thoughts, tips, I don't know, um, for doing a circular yoke. Um, if you're doing a chain, I personally, to start, I personally just chain the number of stitches plus one or plus two, however many I need to go back. And then I would, so for this, it's extended half double. I did 101 chains. I did an extended half double crochet stitch in the second chain from hook and around, and then I joined, which is why it has this little, slight little opening right here. I personally, this is my personal preference. Um, some other designers might not do the same. I like to turn each round. To me, it keeps everything a little more neat looking. Uh, yes, you will have a seam in most cases, but it's in the back and it should stay straight. In most cases, it will usually stay straight if you are turning um, each round. Next, I personally find it the easiest. Um, and I'm all about easy, to increase by 10 or by 20, depending on how far I want my yoke to come down. So this one increases by 10. So I start out with 100 in the beginning, and then the next one goes up to 110. So I increase. And then I increase by 10 again to 120, 30, 40, 50, until I get to my amount. The amount you want, if you're not following a pattern, is going to be um, the number of stitches minus the number of stitches you need unworked for your, uh, sleeves to get to the number of stitches you need for your size to meet gauge. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Um, when you're working up your gauge and you're, you're doing your formula to find out the number of stitches, you need to add the number of stitches you need for sleeves to get to where you need. So for me, size medium, this needs 300 stitches around. So my biggest round right here is 300 stitches. Now I am going to create my armholes, which will have it looking like this. So once you get your yoke, your circular yoke completed, um, so I did up to 300 stitches and then I did two rounds of just one stitch in each or one, yeah, extended half double crochet stitch in each stitch around for 300 stitches. And now I am at the point where I am ready to create my armholes. Um, you can determine this by measuring your yourself from your neckline down below your bust or however long you want your it to come down on your arms. Um, so I measured, I think it was nine inches or right at, yeah, pretty close to nine inches um, is where I wanted mine. So that's why, I, that's why I added the two rounds of just one stitch in each stitch around. So now we are going to create the armholes. All right, I'm ready to start my armholes. I have my work 
ready. And what I need to do is um, I need to chain one and turn. And I'm going to work one extended half double crochet in the next 45 stitches. Basically what you're doing is you're splitting this in half. Let me see if I can show you again. You're gonna split this in half so that the armholes are unworked. You're just skipping these stitches. So since you've got a seam right here down the middle, you're gonna actually split that number in half to determine how many you need in the back before you start skipping stitches. So for me, I need 180 stitches total 60 stitches on each side will be unworked. That will be my armholes. So I need to do 45, because half of 180 is 90. So I need 90 in the back, 90 in the front of the garment. And so 45 stitches when I, um, in the back here before I start skipping, because I'll have 45 on this side of the seam and 45 on this side of the seam. All right, so let's count 45. Extended half double. So one, two, Okay, I have done 45 stitches from my seam. And now I have to skip 60 to create my armhole. So I am just going to literally count. You might wanna lay out your uh, yoke as best you can. Basically, it's gonna fold over itself and create an armhole because you're gonna join the next stitch with, are you gonna work an extended half double crochet into the next stitch after you've skipped your 60? So let's do that now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. All right, so I've skipped it. I've got it all just kind of bunched up right here and into the next one. So I'm gonna hold it as close as I can, I'm going to work an extended half double crochet. And I'm gonna work an extended half double crochet in each of the next 100 and, I mean 90, not, not 100, 90, which this counts as one, so 89 in the next 89 stitches. And as you can see, I've created an armhole that easily. So now we're gonna keep going for 90 stitches in the front since we don't have a seam. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you again on the other side how we create the other armhole. All right, I have worked to 90, 90 stitches from the armhole that I created over here. Now I'm ready to create my next armhole. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I am going to skip 60 stitches and then work 45 more on the back side, 45 more stitches on the back side and join and I'll be done with my armhole roll, roll, round. <laughs> okay, let's skip these stitches. I like to go ahead and have my like fingers and hands ready to work my stitch just because I find it easier to navigate when I'm holding all this excess, all these skip stitches. So 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So I'm going to work into this next stitch. Going to work my extended half double right there. And then I'm going to work the next 45 stitches till I get to my end and join. So let's do that now. All right, I have just completed and joined um, that round. Whoops. And I am going to, I've created my armholes. So now I am going to, after I join again, um, work these 180, so this is the back side, these 180 stitches. So you've got your one armhole, two armholes, and now you have 180 stitches left in your, the body of your sweater. So I am now going to add length to my garment to give it the rest of the sweater. And so I'm literally just going to be working 180 stitches in the round, joining turn 180 until I get the length that I want um, to create the rest of the body. So I'm going to do that and I'll show it to you. And then for my sleeves, it would be done just like any other sleeve. That Now, this could be a perfectly good uh, top right here, t-shirt type top with sleeves because it's going to come down past your shoulders. It's going to come past your bust um, or it should come right past your bust right below your bust area. And so it's gonna come over your shoulders for the most part. So you could totally just stop there as far as sleeves go or like give it a nice little trim. Um, I've done that and it's super cute. Um, but if you want to add sleeves, long sleeves or more length to your sleeves, to a short sleeve, you would join the yarn and work in the round turning just like you did in the body. So I'll show you that as well. Um, I'm going to add length to my top now by working in the, those 180 stitches in the round. I'm literally just going to do each stitch, even these ones here in the corner, I guess, just work into it all the way around. You're just going to go all the way around as if you were working in the round, just like before. Um, but now you just have these openings where you skip the stitches and that's how you create your armholes for a circular yoke top down sweater. So I'm going to go add to this and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have done the body of my uh, tight top and um, one sleeve. As you can see here, I did not actually did not finish the length of the top because I wanted to make sure I had enough yarn to show you this second sleeve. But as you can see, I've worked most of it and then I worked this sleeve. So since this sleeve is a little bit different than you would typically see with the two layers, I'm gonna show you how to do the sleeve of this one now. So pretend the body is nice and long. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to go to our second armhole and join our yarn. We're going to join to a stitch. Let me pull it up, there we go. Um, down at the bottom near the armpit area, I always recommend joining down here in the armpit area, just so that the, if there's a seam or anything like that, it's not noticeable um, as much as if it were right on top. So I'm joining my yarn. We have this little gap here that doesn't have any st actual stitches, um, we're gonna work into that too. So we skipped 60 stitches for this 
uh, to create the armhole, but we're going to work 66 for size medium um, stitches around. So we're going to use that gap there to add those extra stitches along the edge. Um, that just closes that in real well and makes sure that we have enough space with our sleeve. Um, that's not always the case, but since this is a flounce sleeve um, top, uh, we want that flowy, oversized um, look to our sleeve. So just so you know, we are adding extra stitches to that, um, to that sleeve area, to the underarm area. So I'm gonna work 66 stitches uh, all the way around my armhole for round one of my sleeve. And when I am finished, I will join you on the other side. Okay, so I've worked my 66 stitches around. I did forget to mention that I did join and work on the right side um, for this round one. Now I am going to chain one and turn. And for the second round of the sleeve, we are going to work two extended half doubles in each stitch. So we are going to double our stitches. Um, and we're working on the wrong side and we're just gonna work two in each stitch for the second round of the first layer. This is our first layer of our flounce sleeve. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and show you the next part. All right, I have done two in each stitch for a total of 132 stitches. That is what gives it that little bit of ruffle right here. Now for this last row, round in the first layer of the sleeve, we are just going to chain one and turn and work one extended half double in each stitch um, for 132 stitches. And then we're going to fasten off and start the next layer. So let me do this last round and I'll meet you on the other side and I'll show you how to do that second layer of the sleeve. Okay, so I have finished my last row of the first layer of the sleeve. So now I'm gonna fasten off right here and I'm going to rejoin it at the same spot, but I hope you can see. Um, yeah, you can see. Oh, zoom in just a little. Um, this horizontal bar right here is where we are going. This is from our row one that we did um, to start the sleeve of that first layer. You've got this horizontal bar. That is where we are going to join and be working. We're still going to face the right side, but we're just, I'm gonna fold it down a little so you can see. We're just going to put our hook in there and pull up a loop so that we can join our yarn. I'm chaining one and then working a half, an extended half double crochet stitch into that bar. And then I'm going to do it into the next one. Oops, that's not extended. There we go. All right. And you're just going to follow those lines of, of horizontal bars all the way around for that first round. And you're going to work one stitch in each round, oops, I'm pulling, to create your second layer that's gonna lay underneath the first layer. So this is the other sleeve. You can see where I did it, facing the right side, right in here. I worked into those stitches and see it adds so for this round, we're gonna do four rounds instead of three. This round we only do three, which gives it, makes it a little bit longer underneath as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my one extended half double in each of those horizontal bars 
from round one of the, the first layer, top layer of the sleeve, you should get 66, because this is before we have increased. It's from round one. Um, and then once I am completed, have completed that, I will show you how to do the next three rounds. Okay, I've completed the first round of the second layer of that sleeve, that inside layer of the sleeve. I just worked into that horizontal bar for 66 stitches and you can just see how it, what it looks like. And you, if you put it over to the right side, you can't even see it at all. But we're gonna add some rounds to make it visible. So I am now just going to do the same thing I did for this first layer is I'm gonna chain one, turn and work two stitches in each, um, in each stitch around. So I'm gonna double up my stitches again for uh, making it 132 stitches. So just work two extended half doubles all the way around in each stitch around to double that up. That's gonna create that little ruffle um, that you see in the sleeve that gives it the flount sleeve look. So I'm gonna do that and then Okay, so I have completed my next round, which is two in each um, round. That's gonna give that a ruffly look to it. Now for the next two rounds, we're doing two, uh, four rounds total instead of three like the first layer. I'm just gonna do one stitch in each stitch around. So um, I'll do one for three and at ch turning each round too. So you will end on the wrong side for round four. Um, and I'm just gonna work one in each stitch around for both of those rounds. And then the sleeve will be completed. So I'm gonna do that now and I will show you what it looks like at the very end and we'll complete our sleeves. All right, our sleeve is completed. Now you have seen how to do a um, crochet sweater from the top down with a circular yoke and the sleeves for this particular uh, design. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.